What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be talking about my team season 2. Huge shout out to 2K for sending me um, this, basically the trailer and the dev vlog early so I can get this video out um, as soon as the season starts. Huge, huge thank you, really, really do appreciate it. And anyway, we're going to be going over the trailer, well we're going to be showing the trailer as well as going over the dev vlog, talking about, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans for the season, what I am going to do. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we upload more of my team content here than anywhere else. And don't worry, if you guys want to find anything out about any cards, you guys want to find out anything about the game mode, this is the place to go. So if you guys are new, remember, hit that subscribe button. So um, anyway, this season is called Next Is Now, which is a shock to absolutely nobody. Um. Everyone thought kind of next up. I, I can't even remember um, what I thought it was going to be called. Because one of them was like One Will Rise. I thought it was going to be called something ridiculous like A New Beginning or something. To go about rookies. But everyone kind of got a gener uh, general guess of what the um, what it was going to be. However, I'm going to say this. The level 40 or or card is going to be nice. But it's not a card that anyone would expect. But anyway, we're going to... Um, we are going to be going now and listening to, uh, or say watching the trailer. Unfortunately, I think it's copyright music, so I'm going to play just a non-copyright song. So let's go with the, uh, hit the outro music, lads. Okay. That is that was an interesting trailer, and the, if you guys saw why I kind of um looked a little bit, a little bit just like not very happy it was when I saw new rewards and a picture of Patrick Ewing. Man, my um my hatred. For Patrick Ewing in 2K, hey, it do, you just don't you just don't understand. No one understands how much I hate Patrick Ewing in 2K. But um, let's have a look at this. So free a Zion, another free agent Zion. Do we already have like two free agent Zions? Um, seasonal rewards and agendas. Um, Blake Griffin, Luca, Duncan Robinson, Trey Young, and um, Shea Gilgeous Alexander. Hey, that is interesting. Shea could be good. Shea can't play point guard though. Um, Blake is Blake could be unreal. I wish that Vince Carter was an Evo. Giving out an Emerald card now, there's just there's just no point in it, is there? Like we all want Vince, we don't want an Emerald. Like even a Sapphire, even an Evo to a Sapphire might make him kind of usable for some people, unless it happens that he's usable and limited. Then we've got Rafer Alston. Whoo! Uh, triple threat challenges for Rafer Alston. That is not, that's interesting. That is really interesting because Rafer Alston, man. He's gonna, he's one of the cards I'm so excited for in 2K. Skip to my Lou, baby. And one mixtape hero. New limited and unlimited rewards. All I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say is, please, for the love of God, make Jalen Brown the limited reward. Oh, he is, it is, it is. Jalen Brown's limited reward. Oh, I don't have to play unlimited. Patrick Ewing is your limited reward. I don't have to play unlimited. I don't have to play unlimited. I don't have to play unlimited. Yes, yes, yes. Patrick Ewing's gonna suck. I don't have to play unlimited. Yes. <laughs> Unreal stuff. Unreal stuff. Paul Pierce was a god, so I played it. I can just focus on limited and focus on actually having fun in this game mode. Triple threat challenges are gonna be fun. I will say that. They're going to be fun. But anyway, now we are going to look at the next is now um, dev vlog. Okay, so, um, level 40 for prize Blake Griffin. That card is going to be unreal. Say that, that card is going to be unreal. Um, let me have a look. 
Uh, new triple chat challenges. This is this is kind of interesting. This is the new game mode. Like they said, every season they're gonna make a new game mode, and this is what it's gonna be. Okay, this is interesting. Um. Okay, single player mode. I wish it was online, but you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine with single player. Triple chat. It's a it's a lot more interesting than playing Dom, and you can finish the game in five minutes. Okay, so you'll find a spotlight of ten triple chat challenges. Okay. You can expect Triple Chat Challenge to be a staple of your community challenge or staple of your Spotlight Challenge release, which will roll out different days of the week. If you complete these challenges, you will earn a player making his debut ready for Austin. Okay, this is kind of, this is interesting. So, does Triple Chat Challenges replace the Spotlight Challenges or is it just going to be part of them? And do you get for these 10 Triple Chat Challenge wins, do you get a free card? Do you get like a free Ruby, like a Norm Nixon or a. Can you remember who any of you others were? Um. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what this means. More on these um, players later. Okay, so obviously these, uh, in these challenges you come up against the, the rewards. Okay, so win the weekend. Season one let us experience my team limited. The lineups were creative. I really enjoyed limited, the reward system was flawed. Um, with a grand seasonal prize, um, requiring six championship rings, missing one's the definition of Hall of Fame heart crusher. Man, they need to... Speaking of Hall of Fame Car Crusher, stop making it so if you steal one ball, the entire team goes cold. It is the most ridiculous badge in the game. Like, I don't even play defense anymore in 5v5. I just have my starting five. None of them play defense, but I have gold Heart Crusher in every single one of them. I get one steal and the whole team, all opponent's team's cold and I don't have to play defense. It's, it's so... It's such an overpowered badge. Um. Okay, rings will be easier to get. Thank you. Week one, I played 34 games for a ring. I'm pretty sure Sam the Ruler played 40 games for a ring. Like, and other people are getting a first game, so. If you can consistently get a ring within like seven games, I'll be happy. Anything over 10 is just too much. But if you can win a ring for 10, if it's if it's a guarantee within 10 games, perfect, perfect. Accompanying limited each weekend will be new win the weekend agenda groups. This will be your chance to earn more XP in every weekend in my team, all modes, expect to get your reps in. Doing so will earn a free award back. Okay, so this is a little. So this is like FIFA. So this is like when you um, you do a bunch of challenges for XP, but at the end of the challenges, you basically get um, a big reward. So maybe if you complete all these agenda challenges, you get your XP for each individual challenge, and if by completing them all, the reward is something good. Like a couple, it'd have been like one token for completing uh, them in other um weeks. So now you get a free back. That's interesting. That's interesting. Problem is, is that most of the time to complete this, you'll need to probably have every card from the latest pack release. So it's not really that much that point of it. But um, I hope I'm wrong with that. But likely is likely it's not going to be relevant. Um, in season one, we had NBA postseason to inspire um, to inspire moment agendas. Looks like we have at least a few months to like make a return. Young players in the league made some impressive early season stat lines. I mean. We're talking about young players and impressive NBA stat lines. Who could forget? Um, he's not going to be in the game, but Brandon Jennings. Uh, Brandon Jennings, 55 points a rookie. Um, you may have encountered a handful of original owner agendas in season one. They'll be returning. <laughs> really? Really? The original owner's concept? Man, that is just such a BS concept. I'll be the first to say it. That is an absolute BS concept. It's forcing people to open packs. Um, they will be returning as bonus XP agendas. That doesn't make sense. Everything's technically a bonus agenda. So, like, that's like you saying we would have made, say, in season one, we released 10 agendas. Two of them happen to be original owners. But then in season two, we're, we're going to release eight agendas with two bonus original owners ones. It's the exact same thing. Maybe I'm, am I, maybe I'm reading this wrong, but this, like why, why mention this in the blog? It just doesn't, it's, it sounds like they're doing exactly what they're doing in season one and mentioning it is a new thing. I just, I just don't get it. Um, you're still very, very much in the running for Blake Griffin. I mean, it is about six hours a day playing and, and that's, um, even if you buy everything, it's still about six hours a day I'm probably playing to get Blake Griffin. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy. Um, as mentioned, the My Team Unveil blog, a new season brings new rewards. Over 40 new reward players. That's great. Man, 40 new reward players. 
12 new players for the reward market. So I'm guessing three opals, three pink diamonds, three diamonds, three amethysts. That's what my guess is. Um, or maybe like one opal, two pink diamonds, three diamonds, and then they got a three rubies, which would honestly be even better. Um, that's very, very interesting. I think I'm on the diamond board anyway, so I'll see what I'm, I'm gonna buy. I have enough almost for four diamonds, but like if I can get three diamonds and a really good amethyst, I'll be happy. A new pink diamond reward will also be, or three new exchanges. That'll be interesting. That will be interesting. Um, it all depends on what the exchanges are. Exchange, like, I hate the, the logic that, like, the koozie wasn't worth it. Koozie was worth it for about three weeks. You could get koozie at the very start for, like, 150k. And I'm telling you, man, for 150k at the start of the game, koozie was a steal. He was an absolute steal. Okay, so, um, 450 wins, Diamond Oladipo. If he can play point guard, you know what? He might be worth 150 wins. But then there's, there's also going to be the vault card as well, which you can get. So, it'll be interesting to see who that card is. New pink diamond reward also be available. J.R. Smith. So J.R. Smith's the new Dr. J. And he's going to come with Clamson range. He's going to be a god, but I don't think it'll be worth it. He'll be a million empty. So. You add him if you want. Don't if you don't. But he's going to cost either a lot of real money or a lot of time. Because he'll be about a million empty at least. Um. Okay. So the rewards. We've already went over them. Hey, signature challenge. I forgot to do the Dame Litter one. But I'm telling you right now, do the signature challenge. Do it. You're getting yourself a Hall of Fame badge. Like, I'm I'm dumb for not doing it. Like, this is not... The Steph Curry grind, you can definitely argue, you know what, um, cost versus time, whether you should do it or not. Um, but, like... There's no question about it. Do this challenge. I just didn't do the Litter one because... Man, I just, it's one of those weird things, like, if I don't want to do something, I can't ever do it. It's weird, like, if just anything in life, if I really don't want to do it, I just can't do it. And the same with the Litter Challenge, I just don't want to do it, so I just can't do it. Um, so, on January the 8th, 2006, Vince Carter hit a clutch game winning three. You have 42 points with the Vince Carter Emerald. 15 tokens in a Hall of Fame slashing match. That's not bad. Especially this is on Pro or something. You just run back to the whole game. So new locker code, lads. Vince Carter game winner, lads. Vince Carter game winner. New locker code, lads. Then next is now. That's pretty much it. And just talking about next gen, which we already know. So, yeah. That's basically it. Next is now, lads. So... What do you guys think? Honestly, I'm happy it's something new. I do predict we get new packs today. Because no way the 2K release all this content on a Friday. No way the 2K go a whole week without adding um, new packs into the game. Let's be real. The main purpose of this game mode is to make money. And 2K can't make money out of it. They probably won't do it. So um, I can see season tip off packs coming today. Will be interesting. I will definitely be doing the challenges to get skipped to my loo. I, like, I don't care. I, I didn't want Bill Russell. I want Ray Rawson. I will definitely be doing limited because I want to get Jalen Brown. I will definitely not be touching on limited because um, I don't want Patrick Ewing. Um, and I might, I probably won't go for Blake. Let's be real. I have, just too, I have too much. I'm too busy to go for Blake. Like, I upload six videos a day between all my channels. I'm too busy to go for Blake Griffin. But Blake Griffin, if he can get range extender and quick first step, will be better than Draymond Green. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. Lads, new season is starting now. Enjoy it. So now that's the video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.